welcome back everybody, Aesop Grimm here. This is the continuation of our Crusader Kings 3 Chronicle where we are trying to unify Italia. And we are slowly snaking up the uh, peninsula of Italy, I guess proper. Um, but in order to get the achievement, which, mind you, this is not, uh, what do you call it, uh, an Iron Man run, so we won't actually get the achievement technically, but we're going to do everything that we would need to do to get to get the achievement. That's the plan anyway. And in order to do that, I have to have Illyricum also, which is all of this area here. It's basically the Dalmatian coastline, inwards towards like what we would what would be Croatia. Not today. So that'll uh, that's a bridge we'll cross when we get there though. For right now. We should be fabricating a our next claim. We won't be able to declare a war for about 10 years without incurring some pretty serious penalties. Um, I pressed the wrong button. Fabricate on. I want, I think, a Brucey next. Yeah. That's going to take 15 months. We're nine years out from converting Apulia. I am more and more transitioning towards letting the culture change on its own over time. Uh, right now, we are actively trying to, to change culture under uh, Sebastianos here. But beginning with Marcus, I will probably start uh, changing his mission to... Uh, development, increased development. We're 59 years old, and it is the 17th of October, 1098. Let's go ahead and hit on pause. And we just got money. 1,306, that's... And we're making 44 ducats a month, wow. Wow. Okay, time to really start plussing up properties. I need to catch everything up. Okay, that that's at level four all the way across the board. That's good. Uh, you, can, can I move you to level three? Not yet. I need concentric castle building. Can I do that? Yes. The concentric castle is surrounded by two or more walls. The inner one higher than the outer one. Oh, no, I need the Hoardings Innovation. Okay, then we will... That's okay, we probably need to start with these anyway. We're going to upgrade to Farms and Fields. The erection of barns and larger storehouses allows peasants to preserve hay and straw, gives them a place to store their tools, and acts as an impromptu place to house traveling armies. Or vagabonds. <laughs> All right, upgrade. Eleven months left there. Let's move over to Salerno. Is there anything that I'm able to uh, upgrade here? I don't think so. Uh, no. Okay. So everything lo looks like everything requires a concentric castle. Okay. Well, that means that we're doing pretty good as far as our upgrades go. Uh, we can probably begin working on. Uh, these other counties. These are all part of the Duchy of Sardinia. Do I own them all? Galura, Tartoli, Cagliari, Camarda. I do not. Oh, you know, so... Are there more? 13 titles plus 4. Okay, good. I have Arborea. Do I have Luduro? Maybe not. And it says I do. It bothers me that I'm missing that. I have the Duchy of Sicily and the Duchy of Salerno. No, I'm sorry. The Kingdom of Sicily. Duchy of Salerno. Duchy of Sardinia. County of Salerno, County of Cagliari, County of Galora, County of Arborea, County of Lanciano, 
County of Camarda, County of Tortoli, Logadura, okay. I, I saw that earlier and I thought this was named something else. Okay. Here's what we're going to do then. We have all this money. Um... Yeah, I need to keep. Okay, so we got to upgrade here. How are the other ones looking? Is every, everything at level two across the board? Yes. Okay, so then we need to upgrade the castles. Con uh, construct a keep. And over here. Construct a keep. I need the battlements innovation. Greek culture. Why is it dependent upon Greek culture? Am I not Roman? Sardinian culture. So it's because of these counties are those cultures. Okay, well that's another reason to have everything be uh, mono, you know, be... be just Roman. Let's take a look at that. Greek and Sardinian. These are Roman. Where is my guy working right now? He's working in Apulia. Okay. Okay. Uh, my main tax base is going to come from my lands, right? So I actually... I hate to do this, but I need to pull him off. Promote culture. Okay, it's going to take them nine years. All right, let's go ahead and put you guys on pause, and I'm going to roll time forward. I'll bring you back whenever something important happens. But you kind of saw what I'm working on there. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, an important decision is upon us, and I'm, I'm going to explain to you what I normally do and why, and what I'm going to do and why. So we've got a claim, but we have the option of taking all of Spoleto. Now, normally, I just play patient and I go county by county because I do not like to have rulers, discontent, counts, and dukes under me when I can just play the long game and take their land for myself piece by piece. But because I'm at a higher level of authority, I believe I can revoke his titles once he is my vassal and I think I can do that without being a tyrant and even if I become a tyrant I might be willing to do that at my age um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this okay so now that we have a claim on the entire duchy of Oh, wait, is there even a duke? These two counts are independent. The papacy took some land. Your liege is the pope. Oh my gosh! I would have to declare war on the pope. Am I down for that? No. <laughs> I don't... I don't think I am. Ah... Uh, that's... a little bit frustrating. I can still declare a war for the Duchy of Spoleto. This guy's a check? What's he doing down here anyway? Uh... Oh, no, no. <laughs> it shows me as having a military strength of 31,000 and them of 14,000.
Will everybody show up? Their military strength is inferior to ours. Well, this seems... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's try it. Yeah, that feels a little ambitious. I, mean, I guess it pays to be orthodox in this moment. Let's see, some of these guys are Catholic, though, I think. I don't know if they'll be able to... <laughs> to join. I'm not going to worry about these artifacts right now. Uh, Siege Rome? <laughs> that sounds weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, Count Lucius is going to come Prince Semikos and his 4400 are going to come uh, Count Niketis is going to come oh my gosh King Benoit who is Catholic is going to join the war against the Pope this is a historical as it gets Oh my gosh, they're all joining. The, this Pope must be hated. All of these Catholics are joining me to siege Rome. Okay, now he's got 14, I gotta play keep away. That is his whole force. Who who else can who are they gonna have join? This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Okay, they're splitting armies. I have eight thousand troops. If I attack them, these other two are going to come in. So I'm hoping I can skirt the edges. How long is that siege going to take? 18 months. Capua has been lost. Okay, it looks like they're they're coming to support Rome. Oh, we're gonna have a huge war. Oh. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to take on ten. says it's fairly even odds. I need 
these guys to jump. And, oh, there we go. 17,000 versus 98. Already about 3,500 have fled and 4,200 for them. And they're in Buku trouble now. We're going to stack wipe them. Let's fight it in Bannerlord. This is uh, unexpected. <laughs> Unexpected. I, you know what? I was actually just tossing around the decision because I knew I was going to be faced with probably facing, having to choose whether or not I was going to face down the pap papacy in the future because it, it's it has Rome, right? And I'm trying to restore the Roman Empire borders, and I was seriously considering just setting up shop in Florence. Florence has a lot of money making potential, and. Um, but it, it didn't take me long to think that over and be like, no, I mean, we're going for this huge achievement. It's enormous. It, it's really, it takes a long time to restore the borders of the Roman Empire. I'm going to take Rome. So I knew I was going to have to face down the papacy at some point. And we're not taking Rome here. This is going to be for the Duchy of Spoleto, but it sets a precedent of conflict. It, it, it crosses the Rubicon, I guess, to say the phrase. So here we go. I feel a lot better about letting that other army join. It's at least believable that if we if we win this fight, it's absolutely believable. <laughs> um, let's take, uh, let's see. I don't have very many archers, do I? I do not. So I'm going to just keep my, my frontline troops together. Um, I really need to get a longer combat with something like that seems appropriate uh, I'm attacking them oh I did the wrong thing there There we go. Spread them out. And uh, group three. My art, my horsemen. Um, let's play over here on the right flank this time around. I, that's, that's where I typically play, but in Crusader Kings, I've been doing the left flank for some reason. Uh, and hit ready. Infantry! Now, are they coming to me? No. They're moving forward a little bit, but I think they're repositioning. I'm not so sure about that. Am I able to uh, get out there and get a closer look? We'll just uh, pretend I've got a telescope or something. I, it sure does look like they're going to come to me. It sure does. Okay, so if that's going to be the case, I want... Uh... I'm really actually fine with my positioning right here. Let them come. I don't know why I've I don't have my uh Are we on the wrong side? Hold on. How do I pause this? I can at least slow it down. Shoot, I think I'm on the wrong side. Okay, okay, hold on. I need to... I need to bring this up. We can always reload if we absolutely have to. Um, okay, what, what was I going to put? Um... Banner Lord, RTS camera, 
I don't know. Controls. L button to use the free camera. Instead of charging to all enemies, you can press. Okay, I think that's the command system, which this doesn't have. Auto install. Pause game. Looks like it's left bracket. Let me try that. Oh, or just escape. Okay, left bracket did work. Um, switch sides. You can rebind hotkeys by pressing L and click the config key. Camera options, control options, miscellaneous, cheat, switch team. Enable switch team hotkey. Okay, but what is it? Swap players team for making video. Okay. Enable switch team hotkey. I wish he would tell me what it is. Uh, Banner Lord RTS camera semicolon switch team. Now, ah, fat fingering everything. Hotkey. Bannerlord game hotkeys. I think that's good. How to switch to free camera. Uh, let me put you guys on pause while I figure this out. I should have done that a long time ago. I'm sorry. Okay. I found out how to do it. It's super simple, too. I just didn't see it. So you click on the config key up here. And we can see switch team is anchored to uh, F11. So if I press F11, um, everyone, there we go. Okay. So what I need to do now is have have these guys spread out okay so all of my cav are coming in on me that's so I'm going to have one gigantic cab formation. Ah. Uh, actually, they are split. I see... Okay, well, I don't need that, so let me bring group three back over here. There they go. Bring group four back over here. Because I'm American and everything works left to right for me, it just, 
it's better for me to go ahead and put them together like that. Okay, and I'll probably join the right flank. Okay, they've already adjusted their formation a little by bringing their cav out here. I have now told them to form a shield wall to try and protect them as they move forward. They've closed distance enough that I'm comfortable with them slow marching the last bit. I told group three to charge because it looks like their cab is getting ready to charge. And group four can charge. And group two can fire when ready. And I will join group four. All right, there we go. Now that's pretty nifty. I told him, told my bowmen to advance because maybe they don't have good line of sight. Okay, I told my footmen to just attack. Our cavalry has broken their lines. Enemy archer captain has fallen. Look at that hammer and anvil. Am I able to couch lance? Oh, I have a bow. Do I? No. I am able to couch lance. I don't even see their calf. Oh, oh my gosh, they're all dismounted. What happened? Th did my guys just melee them into the dirt? Or did my archers hit them? That's unusual to see all of those horses just standing around right where they were. And these are all my guys. Okay, so here we go. Take that, Pope. <laughs> Orthodox is superior. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I'm neither one of these things. I, I'm evangelical, <laughs> if, uh, I suppose. I'm uh, what's called non denominational but Protestant at any rate. And so this is just, uh, it's funny that in, in a game called Crusader Kings, the first religious war that is fought is between Orthodox and Catholics. The first religious war that I fought. <laughs> well, I guess as we were taking Southern Italy and Sicily, we did fight some Muslims, but that wasn't really a holy war. And this one isn't either technically, but my goodness, what a route. What a route. I didn't hardly do anything except command in that. Semikos is the attacking army. Oh, there's my timer. Oh, stop it, stop it. It's really early in the morning. <laughs> uh, that's actually, it's, yeah, whenever I mean early in the morning, I don't mean like 1 a.m. It's, it's like 4 a.m. right now where I'm at. So whenever this, uh, whenever this video becomes available later today, it, it probably won't be HD right off the bat. We only had 28 deaths. I'm trying to see, okay, I want to see how, how did the troops do? 
Varengi and guard. Bowman, Ar armored footman, here we go, 78. I had to find the right column. 38 kills. This, I think, is how many men there were. There's 288 levies. That's a lot of levies. They had 72 kills. All right. Okay, after action report. They're whittled down to 5,045. We have 19,200. This, this war should now be won. And if we go over here to knights and events, Simakis Aquila, oh, he's of my dynasty, has maimed the enemy commander. Oh, good job, kiddo. He's my nephew. Mirza Nasrid in battle. Our knight, Samakis Akila, wounded Mayor Liv Livio. Oh, he had a good day. Arsenios was maimed my, by Mayor Livio. And uh, Kirillas was wounded by Duke Rathari. Okay. That's Count Niketas' chancellor. Uh, none of our people, like from my court, were, it doesn't look like they did anything or that maybe they weren't in this war somehow, this battle. Okay. At any rate, let's return to Rome. Oh, wife is pregnant. Uh, we're at plus 8% war score. I know the timer went off, but uh, I would like to see how this ends. We can maybe go to speed 4... Uh, I need to watch right here. Okay. They did not attack. They had enough troops if they combined to win that fight. Oh, see, they got 11,000. Okay, they're coming down this way. Child of my dynasty, my daughter-in-law, Blanca, has given birth to a daughter. Okay, Blanca, and you got the robust trait. Wow. Learning education, and you will be educated by not me. Uh, who? Who's our good learners? How about Anthusa? Teachers, I should have said. Good teachers. War scores at plus three percent because we're also having territories sieged down. I have an available learning perk. I was going to experiment with the theologian tree. I've never done it before. Clergy opinion plus ten. Okay. With the babe cradled in her arms. Ah, we have a daughter and wants to name her after her cousin. Sounds good to me. You get the learning focus and you will be educated by... Can't quite see that. Not you. You have a one and learning. Educate child. Sort by learning. 
Uh, Antusa, there we go. Send proposal. A lovely idea, Eve it is. We're almost done here. We're gonna have a successful siege of Rome. Incredible. There's a new patriarch. My bodyguard died. Of wounds? Natural causes. At 56 years old. Food taster position vacated. Oh. Died of old age. Oh, on pause. Negative 10% war score. Agrippina gave birth. A quick and a giant. All right. This is the uh, daughter that we married to a knight. So her first child, our granddaughter, has a couple of good traits. Well, I, they won't help a girl all that much but maybe promising for the future. How about Marcus? Your older brother. No, I'm sorry, your uncle. I think. Okay, we have taken Roma. Plus 44% more score. Oh, I can fight the battle. Okay. So my troops are there. This is, I guess, going to be a long episode. I want to... Uh... Actually, we should call it right there, actually. And I hope that's possible. Ooh. Oh no. Might have messed things up. Oh, this says if the game crashed. Oh, no, that's my web page. Oh, well, we might have to load up on an autosave then, guys, but uh, I'm going to close out the episode here uh, because I'm already over the time limit, and I need to get a couple episodes recorded anyway just so I can have them uploaded and working on the HD compression a few days ahead of time. I'm really right on top of this release schedule. Like this video that you guys see pop up today, it was recorded today, you know. So anyway, again, I'm Aesop Grimm. I hope you like what you saw. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope everything is good in your neck of the woods, and I will see you in the next episode where this story continues.